it's Tuesday morning. I haven't eaten since Saturday afternoon. My energy is honestly pretty low right now, but just a few more hours and I'll reach my 72 hour goal of no eating, just drinking water. My goal for today is to catch a couple nice fish, cook them up, and break my 72 hour fast with a nice seafood meal on the rocks. I was running a little bit low on supplies the other day, so I went to the big brand tackle store to get some jig heads and swim baits. And I couldn't believe the prices. The jig heads were three for eight bucks. The swim baits were four for eleven dollars. Big hammers. That's just ridiculous. I feel like that's insane. I got to come out with my own jig heads for like a dollar each. That's more reasonable. Starting out with a three quarter ounce weight. It's a little bit windy, so I might have to go heavier. I got a one ounce tied up right here. I might just throw that on. Yeah, this three quarter ounce is too light. I'm gonna switch this one out to the one ounce. And if that's still too light, I'll bust out the one and a half ounces. That's uh, so the three quarter. I'll take that off and put on the one ouncer. If you're new to this channel or you're new to fishing on the rocks with swim baits and constantly retrieving, the most important thing is casting out and feeling the bottom. If it's too windy, there's a huge bow in the line, you can probably see it, and that causes you not to be in contact with your lure. And you won't be able to feel the bottom, and the bottom is where the fish are at, so I'm trying to stay right there on the bottom if I can. 24 seconds to hit bottom. That's a long time, and now because we're so high up, we retrieve at a very slow rate because every turn of the reel, it brings that jig head and that swim bait up. Catching that lingcod on my last video got me wanting to feel that bite again. It's so rewarding when you're retrieving it and you feel that thump from a fish. You reel down to it and you set the hook on it and it fights back. Oh, there's not many better feelings than that. Uh oh, there's a snag. I might have lost this one. Got snagged, broke off, switched it out to this swim bait. This is the exact swim bait that I used when I caught that lingcod the other day. Now when it comes to this fast, I know some people are gonna say, I gotta eat and what I'm doing is unhealthy. Three days, no food. Well, I've done the research myself. If you just look up 72 hour fast, that's all you gotta search for. You can see all the benefits. There's countless benefits, health benefits that fasting gives you. So another thing that I'm gonna be doing every month, I'm either gonna be doing a 48 hour or a 72 hour fast for the rest of the year. And I'm going to see how that makes me feel by the end of the year. That's just a personal goal that I'm going to try to stick to. Oh, snag. Dang, I thought that was fish. Come on off. Oh, that's a big rock right there. That's a good sign, though. I, I like getting snagged occasionally. It lets me know that it's not sandy down there. But I don't like losing all my gear. These jig heads are expensive. Well, I've been here for about an hour. And I've been watching this rock. And nothing has crashed over it. So, it's not the danger zone. I'm going to the fishy zone now. Tide's going out too. Just bringing what I need. A tackle box with some jig heads, swivels, jigs. Pack of the swim baits and some jig heads. That's all I need. I can retie straight to the braid if I need to. A little wet up here, so water might be crashing over just like that. Better keep my eye out. Climb up here. Looks like a good fishing spot. Never been here before. Looks great though, we'll see how it is. Over here I'm using this, I think it's a four and a half inch big hammer, really nice color. Tying straight to the jig head. One thing I like coming out to this little bit of a deeper area, you can see that rock come out of the water right now. This is a big wave, probably the biggest test that we'll get if we're gonna get splashed. But if there's that rock out there, more, more of a chance that there's some rock fish in between. All right, all right, first cast. Out in the deep zone. 
Let's find the bottom. Didn't hit bottom yet. Still dropping. Man, it's deep here. There's bottom. Yep, there's bottom. All right, we're gonna do a straight retrieve. Real slow. Try to keep it down there. And watch that tip of the rod. If a lingcod bites, it's just gonna thump. Almost like I hit a brick. But that's a fish, and that's when you reel down to it and set the hook hard. Another thing you could do is raise the weight up to one and a half, or maybe even two, and that'll cause you to retrieve it faster to keep it off from the bottom. And doing that will make the tail flutter faster too. So that, that's another way to entice a, a bite. Oh, that was bottom though. Dang it. Ah, man, another one lost. Snagged again. Losing a lot of stuff out here today. Oh, I'm so hungry. A little dizzy. Lost a jig. Lost a swim bait. About to switch to the bobber, and it's always good to have that bobber as backup. You come out here with the swim bait, come out here with the jig. Don't have any luck with those. You can always fall back on using bait in the bobber. I'm trying to assess how deep it is right now. It looks like it's about 35 feet to 40 feet deep. Ooh, exhausted, man. I'm hungry. I want some food. I'm gonna try the swim bait one more time before I switch back to the bobber. Don't get a chance to fish this area too often, so I'm just trying to fish every single spot I can. Oh, fish, fish on, baby. We got a fish on in the cove. Nice, lingcod. Oh yeah, dude. A lingcod in the cove. Was not expecting that. I was just gonna go change out to the bobber. I was like, I never fish here, so I might as well fish it. And look what we got, a lingcod. Oh, that feels so good. I was not expecting that in the cove right there. Wait, let's go measure this, because this is close. It might actually be too small. You don't know how tempting this is to keep, but they need to be 22 inches. This is 20 inches, just barely. Worth it to keep fishing the swim bait. Drop her off in a new place. Swim straight down. Oh man. I thought that was my meal. I thought I could break my fast with that ling cod, but not yet. I want to fish this cove a little bit more. That was a, that was cool. Bring it in through the cove like that. All right, we're not done yet. All right, here we go again. Never fished this spot yet. We're gonna go into the cove. And as we reel, it's gonna get deeper. So we're gonna do an extra slow retrieve. And as long as this thing is moving a little bit, this nuclear chicken six inch Berkeley grub, Berkeley gulp, that tail has an amazing action. Just gotta keep it there on the bottom. That was satisfying though. Getting that thump, setting the hook, bringing the fish in. Let's see if we can do that again. You know, since I caught that lingcod on this swim bait, I keep want, I want to keep fishing the swim bait, so I'm going to change it out to this. This is a two and a quarter ounce lure. I got this a long time ago, and it's just been sitting on my desk. Thought today would be the perfect time to bring it out. Let's see if, I mean, what does that look like? That doesn't look like anything. If I was a fish, I'd be like, I'm never going to eat that. But if I saw that, I'm eating that all day. This one's two and a quarter. This one's three and a quarter. This two and a quarter is sinking super slow, so I might go bigger. Go big or go home. All right, let's do this. Fish on, baby. It's a good one. I was letting that thing sink to the bottom. Oh, it's a link caught for sure. 
Woo! Oh, baby, don't come off. Big waves coming in. Let's be careful now. Oh, I felt that thump. Felt that thump. Come on in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another ling. Oh, it's small, though. But that's a beautiful ling cod, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that feels good. On this thing right here. This thing is hard to fish. You gotta do it so slow, but it works. I haven't even been fishing this spot that long. But another small ling cod. That's close. It's about 20 though. I don't even need to measure it. This one's smaller than the last one. How tempting it is to keep though. How tempting it is to keep. Crazy thing is, I was letting this thing sink for 60 seconds before retrieving it. I guess we're gonna have to keep fishing it. Well, we'll see you later, bud. Man, it's so satisfying though. It's the afternoon, and I'm about to break my fast with an avocado I brought. Wanted to catch fish, but no luck so far. Before I do though, I wanna let you in on something that I'm telling you right now for the first time, first announcement, the Fisherman's Life Street Fair, third annual one, is taking place July 15th, 2023 at Stonestown in San Francisco on the backside where the theater used to be. So mark it on your calendar, pull out your phone, July 15th, 2023, free entrance. Everything I have for sale will be 20% off that day. So if you want to come out and get a backpack, 20% off, fishing rod, 20% off, anything, 20% off. So that's in the works. Go to fishermanslife.net or if you want to be a vendor, check out Fisherman's Life or uh, info at fishermanslife.net to email about being a vendor. But yeah, I'm about to break this fast. A couple link cods, small ones. We're gonna fish for about 20 more minutes. If we don't get anything, I'm just gonna eat that avocado and head out. It was a good day fishing. Glad you could join me. Sometimes it just doesn't pan out how you want it to, but it's all about a healthy 2023, wherever you're at. All right, peace y'all, take care of yourselves. I'm gonna have that big announcement, the full details coming up soon in about a week or so. Just in case you were interested, this was the swim bait I was using. I think I got it for like 70% off at the Sportsman's Expo like three years ago. And I don't know too much about it. All I know is like 70% off. <laughs> Peace, y'all.